What's good, everybody? All right, peeps, we making some runs today. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a drum magazine for my Draco uh, chamber nine millimeter. I just don't like the stick, bro. Like this ain't this ain't aesthetically pleasing at all. So I feel like if I can go find maybe a Magpul, um, you know what I'm saying, Glock 17, Glock 19 drum, 50 round mag, I feel like this would be a little bit better, maybe look a little bit better. But uh, y'all ain't seen this gun before, but uh, this is the Draco. I'm gonna put it in a backpack. I stay in an apartment, so I don't wanna just be like walking down the like way with this, even though I can legally. Yeah, I'm gonna just put it in a backpack. So I ain't gonna worry nobody. I'm looking for stuff for my Draco because I think I'll make that my truck gun. Um, just because it's chambered nine millimeter and I plan on uh, changing my everyday carry, which is Springfield XD40. This is my everyday carry, but <clears throat> I plan on changing that to uh, Glock 19. And I actually got a Glock 19 too, but I got some stuff that I want done to it. So y'all gonna have to wait on that. But yeah, man, today's mission, we're gonna try to find the drum magazine and then we're going to look and see if we can find two more concealed guns, concealed carry guns. And I'm, a, I'm specifically looking for the Springfield Hellcat, and I'm looking for, uh, what's that, the Glock 43X. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and buy that too. So, let's see if we can find that today. I know where I think they had a Hellcat at, but we'll see if we can find that, but if not, it just is what it is. I already made it to my first stop. I'm actually already out of my first stop. I didn't want to record in there. I think I should just probably start taking my, my phone in there. Well, my, I mean, my phone be in there, but I should just start recording with my phone instead of my camera. My camera's big as hell, and I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable. But, we got a new pickup. Bam. Found the Springfield Hellcat. Got it for a steal. But we're going to go over it. I mean, as y'all can tell, it's used pre-owned firearm but um and it's safe uh there's nothing in it please believe me please please believe me there's nothing in this gun um but i know some people i don't know how like some people feel about buying from um pawn shops but i'm a big fan of buying from pawn shops because one you build up a relationship and then two like for instance this gun didn't come with a box which is cool since it didn't come with a box i got it for 375 dollars and I put um, the Glock, I want to say it's the 20, Glock 20 maybe, but it's the 22 caliber uh, Glock, I think that's the Glock 20, I don't know, but it's the Glock 20 something, I don't know, but uh, they actually gave me some free ammo too, um, since this didn't come with no box, but I put that in layaway and I cop this one. I'm trying to find the Glock 43X so I can put these side by side and do a um, a review on them. I will catch up with you guys later at the next stop. Hopefully we can find this Glock Alright man, so uh, just did my paperwork, so we're going to wait for the state to go ahead and proceed me forward. Then I can take the gun home today, and uh, y'all might get a review tomorrow. So, we'll see. Alright, thank you. Let's go. Yes, sir. Made it back to the crib. And um, I got them in the Glock box. So this is the Glock 43X. And let me just show y'all this slide. Nothing's in the slide. 
but uh safe direction but yeah man this um it's just like real slim but after holding it today i think if i had um if i can put add the little piece to the back y'all know what i'm talking about that comes with glock yeah i got one in here hold on I just got the, box. the little piece that snaps into the back you know this goes to 19 though so of course it ain't gonna fit but if i add that it may be pretty decent in my hand but uh yeah man i'm um i'm not feeling really too bad about this on the cool because i was thinking i was gonna end up selling this or giving this to my mom or something um but it really don't feel bad in my hand so the next one is the hellcat hellcat springfield hellcat let's show you guys it's not loaded Slides clear, safe direction. But um, this actually, though, I will say this: this feels better in my hand. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just how it's bent or what. But crazy part about it is, let me get this mag. I actually keep the mag in there. Uh, but look at these. I mean. line these up just right all right let's look at the uh, profile and it's like the glock sticks out just a little bit more too that's the crazy part about it um let me tell you about the springfield though heard about them seen good things nothing but good things about these went to the pawn shop in the hood and came across the Hellcat. And I know some people are so rude, like I'm not doing a video right now. I get like a hundred of these calls every day. And that's so annoying. But um seen a lot of good reviews. One thing, first thing I noticed about this uh gun is the trigger. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on uh, the main things I look for in guns when I'm uh, before I buy. But one of the main things I look at is the trigger. This trigger, it's it's not a light trigger, but it's crisp. So you get like a definite wall there when you're pulling. Boom, that's the wall. Anymore, it goes bang, right? And that's what I like. Uh, this actually Glock 43X has a really good trigger on it too. I'll show you how it is so boom hit that wall right and um i'll go over triggers in another video but for those who are new to the gun community triggers is a, is a big thing and i'll show you why but um but yeah like this one just feels like better in my hand like more secure more uh natural and if i had to pick a concealed carry out of these two, it'll probably most likely be this. Um, the only reason why I say that is because this Hellcat chamber to nine millimeter two holds 13 plus one. All right. The Glock 43 is single stack and it only holds 10 plus one. Um, but I know they got a fix for that. They have another magazine. I can't remember who makes it, but I believe it gives you 14 or 15, uh, 15 rounds. So I'm definitely gonna be uh, swapping that thing out. I'll say this, my other Glock, my Glock 19, the trigger ain't like this one. The trigger ain't like this one at all. The trigger's way better on the 43 than uh, my 19 that I got. But I've heard it's always been like a hit or miss with the triggers. But we're gonna take it to the range tomorrow. We're gonna test it out and we're gonna just kind of see where it goes from there. But uh. Yeah, Springfield Hellcat, chamber to 9mm, Glock 43X, also chamber to 9mm. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, if y'all like these gun videos, I'll make more of them. This is just a hobby that I just like, why not put it on YouTube? So, um, I have a lot of guns. I got, like, this is my everyday carry. I don't know, so, uh, Canic. Y'all want to see a review on a Canic? Let me know. I'll drop that on there too.
but yeah, man. All right, peeps. I appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Um, watch out for the next video. We're gonna be at the range with these two concealed carry guns, testing it out, testing the accuracy. I haven't shot in probably about about a month, so don't be judging me. All right, guys. For real, for real. I'll talk to you guys soon. And make sure you guys hit that like button, that comment button, or y'all drop a comment. A subscribe button, y'all gotta hit that, because if you don't, it's petty. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. Hang on, I think I missed it.